Hey, how are you doing? It's been a while, it's been about four months. Um, I'm doing a quick 24 hour readathon, reading through the night, catch up vlog. So stay tuned to find out where I've been and uh, why am I staying up all night? Hey, how are you doing? Um, it's been about four months um, since I've made a video. Uh, I think I made one at the end of the school summer holidays, um, but never posted it. It was another read with me, but I may do that again over Christmas. So, just wanted to jump on and say, hey, how are you doing? Um, I've been busy at school. I always find the first term hard. First half term, yeah, not so bad getting to know my children in my class. Uh, the second half between October half term and Christmas, I find exhausting. I don't know why. Um, so that's why I haven't posted really. I've been just going to work, um, dealing with the boys and yeah, being generally tired. So yeah, that's just been my life in a nutshell since uh, the end of summer. But I thought I'm gonna jump on because I'm awake all night tonight. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, Oh, you've been awake all night with three children. Two have gone for a sleepover. It's Zach who needs to stay awake through the night because he has to go in hospital tomorrow for an EEG and he's not allowed to sleep for 12 hours prior to that. So basically he's awake all night um, and I need to be awake with him to make sure he doesn't fall asleep. So yeah, my days of working overnights at Sainsbury's are going to pay off tonight. But yeah, so... I'm hoping to finish tonight the Children God Forgot by Graham Masterson. I started this a few weeks ago um, because I've been so tired it's taken me a while to read but it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's basically about some deformed children and a witch. Um, why, why are they killing people? Why are they mutating people? And of course it's um, DC Jerry Pardo and DS Jamelia Patel um, have been sent to find out why, um, you know, what's happening. I do get x file vibes from this and they actually confirmed in this book one of the characters did call Pardo and Patel um, Mulder and Scully, which I felt quite amusing. But I'm on page 412, uh, so I should finish that. Probably in the next half an hour, maybe. Um, but just before I go back to my reading, I just wanted to show you a couple, four books that I've read recently, which I'll do in another video and go into more detail of uh, what I've been reading since I last saw you in the summer. Uh, the Maidens by Alex Michalides. Sorry if I pronounced that completely wrong. Um, yeah, I've read that one, really enjoyed it. I'm Watching You by Amanda Brittany. Absolutely brilliant, read it in two days. The Castle of Tangled Magic by Sophie Anderson because I've really got back into fantasy lately in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I enjoyed that. And Graceling by Christine Cashhall. These are the few books that I've read over the last few months. But as I said, I'll do another video another day uh, going into more detail of what it's about. But yeah, these were five stars. So I'm going to go make myself a coffee because what's the time, Zach? Or can't you see it? I can't see. Okay, he can't see it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab myself a hot drink to try and stay awake. And I'm going to hopefully finish The Children God Forgot by Graham Masterton. So I'll catch you up with you in a little while. Hey, so I've got my hot drink. I've just got a, like a, a latte some caffeine to keep me going but before I wanted to start reading my book again to get it finished I just wanted to show you guys we do a secret Santa work every year and I just love I love this so I thought I'd show you so I don't know who it is and I really want to find out it's pops in the background puppy update she's big but anyway um I've got two Galaxy hot chocolates, a bar of Galaxy, which is my favourite chocolate because it's so silky, and I've got a book by Lucy Foley, The Paris Apartment. 
now. I can't wait to start reading this um, because I've heard a lot about this. Um, so yeah, this is my secret Santa. It's chocolate in a book. I'm well happy with that. You know, even if they just bought me a book. You know, I love it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm trying to find out who it was. I know you're not meant to, but I put on the group chat anyway. Thank you, whoever it was. Um, I absolutely love it because I do. It's a book. It's a you know little book women love us thing. But yeah, anyway, right. I'm going to get back into the children God forgot um, and try and get it finished in the next half an hour. <laughs> past midnight on the 20th of December now and I've just finished The Children God Forgot and the ending to me sounds like it could be a second book to The Children God Forgot um, but yeah I absolutely enjoyed it I did fly through it um, once I finished school uh, work for the for the two weeks Christmas holiday so yeah um, it's the second book by Graham Masterson that I've read. I read Shadow People in the summer. Um, I borrowed it from the library, so I don't have a physical copy of my own. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. I flew, I flew through that in a couple of days as well. Um, but again, it's like X-Files. Um, X-Files vibes especially with Pardo and Patel in it. They do remind me of Mulder and Scully and the cases they get sent on. Um, but yeah, definitely a five star and um, I shall be reading some more Graham Masterson. Um, I've got a couple on my wish list. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do another video going into in more depth um, of a, a couple of books that I've read. As I said at the beginning of the video, I've read over the last couple of months. Um, and I'll include this one as well because I absolutely loved it. Um, I'm going to start in a minute. I'm going to have a bit of a break, reading break because I kind of read quite a lot today. Um, but I'm in a fantasy mood. So I think I'm going to give The Queen of Tearling by Erica Johansson um, a go next. Um, I will be reading while Zach's in the hospital because he's got to sleep for a few, couple of hours. So... Um, whether I stay in the room and read or while he's asleep or if we get sent out I'll go down to a canteen or uh, a room or something and uh, I'll take my book with me but I won't be taking my iPad to film um, just due to I don't know what I'm letting myself in for uh, what's going to happen I, I have a vague um, what's going to happen um, but I'm going to leave my iPad here but I would update you when I get home um, but I don't know how long I'll be at the hospital so yeah um, yeah we have a very tired sleepy puppy here I don't know if you could see her no probably not I don't want to disturb her she's a tired pup so yeah I'm going to finish my latte and uh, then I'm going to start the queen of tearling so I shall catch up with you guys in a bit Hey, it is three o'clock. Three o'clock in the morning. Um, I've got to page thirty-four from the Queen of Teeling. Um, not very far, but I'm starting to get very drowsy, so I've had to get up, get some water. Um, starting to look a bit bleh, red around the eyes, but hey, we're nearly there. You've been doing some drawing, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, while I was doing some reading, uh, initially I did watch a little bit of YouTube as well. Um, I know it's supposed to be reading constantly, but I just needed a break. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a quick game of um, Don't Wake Dad. Um, and then probably go back to some, some reading. So yeah, um, you can watch us have a little play and then uh, I'll update you again uh, a bit later on. <music>
I'm back again. Um, I think I last updated you about three o'clock this morning. Um, yeah, after that last update, um, we started to flag really bad. So we just watched a bit of YouTube um, until it was like a good time to get some breakfast. Um, but I felt so sick. But I did read and get up to page 56 of The Queen of Tearling. Um, I did take my book to the hospital with me because um, I thought it would be there for at least two to three hours. But um, no, it was over pretty quickly. Um, they did what they had to do. Um, they put Zach went to sleep pretty quick for him. Um, they got all the readings that they needed and I got the results this afternoon. Um, wasn't the results that I was kind of hoping for. Um, he's got a lot of... Uh, brain activity on the left and right side of his brain while he sleeps. That's why he's getting an increase of seizures um, in the morning um, when he wakes up or in his sleep. So yeah, his meds will stay the same, but they're going to put him on another another dose um, <coughs> in the evening couple of hours before he goes to bed just to, to bring the activity down and then we've got to do it all again in seven months but um, you know I do what I have to do for him um, to hopefully control the seizures again because we were doing so well and then as he's grown up things are changing so yeah and I just need to process the results myself and so does he but um, you know we stick together and, and get through it but yeah, it's currently half past nine. I have beaten my record of being awake for 36 hours. I have now been awake for 39 hours. So I've come to bed. I've had a cup of tea. I've really needed a cup of tea. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't seem much of a vlog, um, but you know, we covered through the night. Um, and we did some reading. I finished the book and started a new one. So I'm going to finish the very long day today because um, tomorrow I kind of want to go and take the three boys to Costa as a little treat. Because, um, you know, they've had a good term at school. They deserve a little treat. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit more of The Queen of Tearling and then I'm going to go for a very well deserved sleep. And um, <clears throat> makes me laugh because Poppy usually goes to bed with us, lays on her bed. But she decided to stay up awake with me and Zach all night last night. And she didn't sleep much. And I'm going to show you, look. It conked out on the floor, bless her. Yeah, and that's Puppy update. Um, she's big. You can't see her very well. Let's see. It's alright, I can't be bothered to get up and turn my big light on. I'll show you torture on her. But yeah, little puppy is now big puppy. But uh, I might um, carry on with this vlog tomorrow for a little bit longer, um, just for a bit more of a reading update. Um, so I'll show, do a big, a proper puppy update tomorrow. So for now. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, guys. Um, yeah. So, I shall say goodnight for tonight, have a little read, go for very well and sleep. And I shall catch up with you probably tomorrow when we get back from town, because part of me wants to go to Waterstones and have it look. <laughs> but we'll see. Alright, I'll catch you tomorrow and see you later.